Yo, what's good, Bill people? Welcome back to another episode of House of Deal. In today's episode, we will be talking about what kind of pain codes we chose for the entire house. Very exciting! Mm-hmm. Actually, I really like to pick colors. Like, I feel like the entire process of like, you know, the house renovation, the two things that I like the most is picking three things. It's picking the tiles and then picking the fixtures, like um, which colour fixture go with which bathroom tiles and so on uh, and the most exciting one by far is painting the walls walls yeah so it's very exciting but I uh, also had many many sleepless nights last so we go through like hundreds of different paint coats and then narrowing it down to like two or three that is like so similar that I don't think it makes any difference on the app or on my phone screen at all but it makes a lot of difference when you paint it on the wall um, especially if you have like a brightly lit area it makes a difference like whether it's a greenish undertone or a bluish undertone of grey it makes a difference at least to me lah so even yeah. even the lighting so if you pick like a yellow ki- yellow lighting warm lighting or even just the white lighting yeah it changes uh, yeah it changes the colour really so much so that was why I was like um, a little bit worried about painting the colour but so far we are like really happy with every colour that we picked except the master bedroom not really that's okay too but it's been painted like you'll know what i mean because in the app it looks pure gray like just a very nice light gray but when you paint it on somehow with our house walls and the lighting it turns out like a baby blue gray so it's a very bluish thin cool tone gray so we'll talk about that when we go upstairs but now we are outside and we can show you what yeah, what paint, paint we, we chose for the outside. Yeah, so... Let's go. Let's go. Um, we picked two colours for the outside of our house. Um, what I wanted was a grey toned house, something that's very light and bright. But I didn't want the grey to look the same as what the developer chose for the houses over here. So if you look around us, all the houses here are very grey. But they are more of like a bluish grey colour. So I didn't want such a cool tone grey for the house. So we went with almost white. So this is Jotun's Twilight. Um, I think it's code 9904. But I think you put it on the screen right later. So this is Twilight. Um, almost white but it's still grey actually to the eye. But maybe on camera it turns out white. And this one. This is the darker colour that we chose for the house. It's called Monsoon Cloud. It's very... It's a very dark, almost navy blue grey. So that's what we paired with our house because this colour is actually almost the same as our door in front, which is also this kind of grey. And our sliding door, which we chose matte grey as well. So all ties in nicely. Um, so inside the house, it's also like outside, it's grey. I think wherever possible we chose grey because it's the safest colour and I really like the very cool calming grey colour but the difference is where outside is a little bit more cool, inside is a very warm grey so um, the hall colour is very important to me to pick the right shade so what we did was we picked different shades of grey for every different room upstairs so the master bedroom, um, we have one room at the back there, a guest room, um, the hall upstairs and then we have a smaller room down here and the staircase. They are all grey but they are all different greys from Jordan. So from there we get to gauge what's the undertone, how is it going to look like with the lighting in our house and then we get to adjust from there and pick the right colour family. It's actually grey but in a different shade family I would say for the hall. So we ended up with this colour which I am absolutely very very happy about. It's called Limestone. Um, I would say it's a cross between 50% grey and 50% beige. So it's very very warm and then when you add it with um, yellow colour light, very warm lighting, it turns out to be this very nice creamy beige but not really beige grey. I would call it greyish colour. So that one is this colour right here. This is limestone and um, we have this entrance wall where we're going to put a console, like an entrance console. Uh, this one we made it slightly darker just for a little bit of contrast. This is the colour Dawn. Alright, so this one is a true grey, like a cooler tone grey and it's like 
pure grey colour whereas this one has a little bit of beige in it so when you're looking at it um, with yellow colour lighting it looks like it has a golden kind of like undertone so it's really really nice so limestone and dawn for the entire entryway um, our hall even our dining area all the way back to the kitchen if you can see wherever there's walls it's painted this limestone colour only this wall and the hall um, TV wall is painted dawn just for a little bit of a darker contrast so the entire back area is just a warmer grey um, because we don't have any main door or folding door that has that very cool tone grey so we can it's safe to say that it's okay for it to be all warm at the back here this is our tiny little under the stairs um, story, storage room store room store room it's just painted white because it's really tiny inside there's a lot of things uh, now from the contractors but it's really tiny inside so we painted it all white so that it looks light and bright and you know just like that <laughs> it's just a storeroom so nobody's gonna go inside there this is our dining area it's all painted the same limestone color um including our pantry so our pantry doesn't have a door it's gonna be an open pantry um, with shelving all the way up so what we did was we painted it the same color as all the walls on the outside here so that it looks seamless like when you're walking past you see that the walls don't have any seams of different colors so it's painted limestone as well but this room here which is going to be Kian's um, office room uh, it's painted a different kind of grey this one is called timeless by Jordan it's a very very famous color like Everyone who talks about Jotun's grey or more neutral colour will know Timeless. Uh, Timeless has a little bit of a greenish undertone. So it doesn't matter what kind of lighting you put on. Even if you don't on the lighting, it does look a little bit green. So it's like a very muted green grey colour. So this is Timeless. Um, and if you can see, our lighting now here is... Um, not very warm it's actually a cool white and it looks great and um, later on when we show you the staircase without lighting it looks even more great so it's a very nice cooling color to look at very very safe so we pick this as a base for this room and then later we'll do some wall art over here so i'm probably going to do some geometric wall for pian because you know it's a guy's room and you can't do anything too girly fancy <laughs> And that leads us to the last part of downstairs, which is the laundry area. Now, laundry area, I want it to feel very airy, very clean. So, the best way to do it is by choosing this color. It's called Twilight. It's actually the same shade as our outdoor in front. But this one is Jotun Majestic, which is for indoor. Um, it's a little bit bluish, the tone. So if you just look at it at a glance, it looks almost white, like a very, very faint baby blue, grey, white. So that's what we chose for the laundry room. Um, it feels very clean, very bright, because this area is also not very big. So we wanted it to be as bright as possible. Um, I'm going to do some nice feature wall over there, which I'm going to paint, hand paint later. Um, but that's for another episode, maybe the next one. The floor is very warm, so I'm thinking of bringing up some warm tones by putting like shelving over over that wall um we'll see how it goes maybe some floating shelves that's a little bit warm and we are at the staircase area now with all the lights on they are all warm white just for reference um railings still need to be painted not yet but this is the timeless that i was talking about i'm not sure how it's going to turn out on camera but it does look a little bit green if i off the light it looks a little bit more grey, but not a little bit more green. And then uh, we decided to paint this colour for all the stairs. So this floor and then another flight of stairs going up to the third floor. Um, together with the whole entire hall area here. So when you walk up the stairs straight into the hall area here, it's seamless, it's the same colour. And up here to the left is our guest room. I am most happy about this guest room colour. It's exactly like what I imagine it to be. 
Um, I think today we can't have the lights on because I don't know what the contractor switch off in the DB box but basically we can't on the lights right so over here we have two shades of green um, which is tender green and evening green all right these two colors has been paired by Jotun so it's meant to be painted together their shades are also only one coat apart so 6351 and 6352 so when we see that you know these two coats are only one coat apart then we know that it definitely will go well together the undertone is the same it's in the same shade family so this one is a very i would say teal undertone but it's green with a little bit of gray so when you look at it it doesn't look very fresh foliage green it's more like a grayish muted almost blue green like a turquoise color i would say and then this one although it's called tender green it doesn't really look that green it looks more teal so like a very muted turquoise i would call it and then we paired it with brush gold for the entire room so if you see whatever lighting fixtures here on the wall and on the ceiling um, even all the way in through the bathroom is all brush gold so i think it matches really well we are planning to put very very dark wood in here wood furniture so wood with brush gold and very muted green that's the idea and to my right is my craft room and to the left is just another empty room that for now we don't have a use for we initially were contemplating between this room and downstairs for Kian to use as his office room but ultimately he chose downstairs and so this room is just another empty room that maybe will put bed and turn into a guest room for now but so I used this room to choose um, a grey colour to test out um, like I said for downstairs so we're testing out different greys and this one we choose Dawn which is the one that we at last picked for the feature walls downstairs so we had a lot of excess paint from here and when we tested it out with the limestone colour downstairs it matched really well it brought in a little bit of coolness to tie back together with our main door and folding door frame colour so this one is Dawn it is I would say just a little bit more cool of a grey than limestone. Um, we didn't pick two colours for this wall. It's only one colour and it's, yeah, that's it. It's a little bit boring now, but maybe we'll do something on this wall later on. Or if we are turning it into some other use, then we'll repaint it next time. But for now, this room has only one function, which is to test out greys for me to use downstairs. The exciting part though is this room, my craft room. Uh, my previous craft room, I picked a very bright, hot pink, like Barbie hot, pink Barbie. So that was when I was like, what, 15, 16. So now because I'm an adult, I don't really want to go with such bright colors. So this is a very, very muted color. Um, this one is called Silky Pink. By the way, every room in the house is painted Jordan. So this is silky pink by Jordan. It's a very muted pink. It has a little bit of a purplish undertone when the lights are not on. But actually when you're on the yellow lighting, the warm lights, it looks like terracotta. So that kind of very warm red colour but more pink so very very muted kind of like creamy terracotta colour and I didn't want the whole room to be just one colour so this one this one is called artist clay I love this colour it looks like clay but pink I don't know how to explain it it's very very muted very creamy slightly pink but not really so this is actually a very nice colour, it's called Artist Clay. And like I said, the staircase area leading up to the third floor is also all timeless. And this is with all the lights fully on, all warm white. And this is our master bedroom which we painted just one colour. Again, like I said, I'm not very happy with this grey because it looks light grey in the picture. But when you look at it 
in real life, it has a very blue undertone. So this one is called Oxford River. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. This is the first room that we chose to paint for. So we didn't know how to gauge. It looks different on screen. So we picked this one and then when we realized that it's a lot cooler, this is like totally a cool grey. Even with the lights on, it still looks like a cool grey. So after we painted this room this colour, then I know how to gauge and all the rest of the rooms we went way 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 warmer because when you paint it out it looks like it's like how I wanted it to be. So this is our baby blue master bedroom <laughs> that is supposed to be grey. So the whole entire room is only one colour because the only parts of the wall that we will be seeing is this area behind me and also this wall. The other three walls is going to be covered by our walk-in wardrobe which is going to be floor to ceiling so it doesn't really matter so I didn't really feel the need to split this room into two different colours of grey so since I didn't like this colour maybe we'll wallpaper it up one day not sure okay so as people were saying um, this is basically all the paint colours that we have for the entire house one important thing for you guys to note as well is no matter what kind of colours that you actually see on the app or you see um, in your brochures, it will not turn out exactly. exactly the same. I would say that the physical brochure is a lot more accurate because it's actually like you know the paint samples are in a booklet. But the ones on your phone is very different. See, uh, both Kian and I use iPhone and even then on our screens it looks slightly different. My screen and his screen is slightly different. I think maybe due to the screen tempered glass or something. I'm not sure. But it's not exactly the same. And I'm pretty sure for every different phone that you use, it's yeah. gonna turn out a little bit different based on the screen resolution. So don't trust the colours online. The problem is also, the biggest problem is that Jotun doesn't have a lot of um, users who post their colours online. So when I search Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, I can't really find the exact code for it, um, which later on we find out that maybe it's a little bit easier if we use the original Scandinavian name for Jotun or Jotun Lady Paint. Um, to search for it in Instagram so we managed to find a little bit of like real life um, colour swatches on Instagram but other than that there's really no way we could find the exact one yeah. yeah I don't know if we're searching it wrong or what but it was really difficult when we were doing research especially online because the thing is if you just look at the catalogue the catalogue only has that few colours there's so many more colours that are not in the catalogue so I would say that 90% of the house colours that we pick is not from the catalogue there's only 2-3 three, yeah, three three colours in our entire house that is actually in the catalogue and the rest of it is all what we found online that we decided to try that is not in the catalogue so we just gave the paint code number to our contractors and that's how they bought the colour but it's actually not in the Jotun catalogue so that's a little bit weird yeah so some things for you to know and take note when you choose your colours green, blue green, blue actually it looks almost the same in the catalogue but see with all the lights turned off now you can actually see a very very big difference so timeless Oxford River so yes guys uh, we came to the end of the video so um, I hope you guys are interested and also like you pay attention to what our paint colours were no I just hope it helps those of you guys who plan to go with Jotun because their colours are really nice muted Scandinavian feel but you know, if you find it difficult to um, gauge what kind of colour you want to go for, if you don't want to buy multiple paint um, samples to swatch on your wall, then I hope it helps because we never did buy any paint samples. Yeah. We just tested it at parts of the house where we don't really care for. And then the final one, which is the living hall downstairs, 
um, that was the last part of the house that we painted because then we already know how it works and what we like. Trial and error. So yeah guys, um, if, remember if you like this kind of video, remember to like, subscribe, share and comment on all the good contents on the channel. So yeah, bye. See you guys in the next episode.